a powerful word to come from Andy Reid. So this is the pool report, which you get after situations like this. A reporter is able to talk to Walt Anderson and then the referee on the game, Carl Sheffers. And here's part of the statement from the pool report. Something that we are going to call as offensive offsides, that's what the down judge saw. He saw that the alignment was over the ball, and that's what he ruled on the field. The word egregious was also used, and that's where the warning did not take place. The warning is not actually required, according to Carl Sheffers. Uh, especially if you are blocking the view of the ball, we would give them some sort of warning if it was anywhere else, but this one was beyond a warning. And again, the word egregious was used several times by uh, Carl Chuffers as it pertains to what he saw. And everyone wanted to circle it, depending on if you're a Bills fan or a Chiefs fan. To Patrick Mahomes' point and Andy Reid, it takes away from the incredible nature of that game and the meaning behind it, Peter. But you see the play unfold. You see the call unfold. You see the aftermath of it. Where does your mind go? That play was that offsides, offensive offsides was called three times all last season. Think about all the plays, the millions of plays, three times. This year, 11 times all season. It's so rare that it, the Chiefs haven't been called for that type of penalty, non-special teams, an offensive offside since 1995. So when you see Mahomes' response, being like, are you serious? You're going to call an offensive pass interference in that moment? And that, offensive that, offsides. Off, offensive offsides, I'm sorry. That's where they're coming from, um, from there. Yet he was offside. So it's this age old thing where it's like, he was. He's over the line of scrimmage. So if we're gonna have the referee radio every every Monday morning, should we focus on the ones that are penalties or the ones that are not penalties? Because this one was a penalty. It's just they don't usually call it or they usually have a warning. Um, the officials, as you said, Jamie, were like, he was blocking the we couldn't even see the ball. He was so offside. So that it's offside, it's unfortunate, it is what it is. And then for Tony's sake, I look at like Kadarius and it's, this isn't a one-time thing. Like I, last week we came on the show on Tuesday morning and I'm like, they were killed more than just drops. Kadarius, Tony had a crucial penalty here and a drop. Here's the play, he doesn't get his feet set. They call hike, he's all out of sight. They called a penalty. This was a 10 yard gain that was taken back. It's like, this is not a first time for Kadarius, Tony. It's a liability. So it becomes a moment where it's like the drops we can deal with. It's football. This is the stuff that's just mental errors. And when you, you've played football your whole life, or if you've watched football your whole life, wide receiver's not supposed to line up over the line of scrimmage. And if they is, they usually look at the ref, and the ref says, back up before they call hike, and they can do that. Um, show me Mahomes here and his reaction, because I think this is not what we're used to. Like, we don't see this from Patrick. We never see it. At first, I was like, wow, is he upset with his teammates? No, he was upset with the officials. But I think this is a season's worth of frustration. <laughs> yeah. And this could be just as much at the officials as it is about the drops. It is about all the stuff they had to go through. Um, they're eight and five right now. They're barely the AFC West leaders. But Andy doesn't talk that way. Mahomes doesn't talk that way. And if it was, you know, the vitriol was at the officiating, fine in the moment. Even when he's talking to Allen, he's talking about the officiating. Yeah, yeah um, that was something. But I, 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 <laughs> I got to think it's more about the overall picture and that Mahomes is trying to do so much and he is doing so much. And time and time again, they're coming short, and it's not because of him. And to your point, as you talk about the Kadarius Tony play, you showed a play from a week ago. It's like at what point, from an offensive standpoint, from a coaching standpoint, like why is Kadarius Tony in the game late there where you're trying to make a play? Because you're saying, all right, there was a drop in the game. All right, drops are part of the game to a certain extent. So it was just like, all right, if he's killing you, he's not lining up right, and then he lines up off sides. At some point, for Andy Reid and for them on offense, it's like, all right, who can we get in there to be reliable? Because, yes, you can make an excuse for all the different things. And officials have said this has been a point of emphasis. They send out tapes each and every week. They said this has been on the tapes talking about, hey, this hasn't been called in the past, but this is something that we're paying attention to this season. Why? We can get into all of that that none of us have the exact answer for. But at the end of the day, to your point, Shregs, Flag is a flag. We get so mad when they don't get it right. Well, when they do get it right, we have to accept it, whether it should or should. It was a flag. He was offsides. I just look at this Chiefs team, and you're right about his frustrations. Is where do they go from here? Offensively, it still seems to be such a struggle. Rasheed Rice steps up, has a huge touchdown pass, but then he fumbles the ball in the third quarter. So there's so many different things that continue to hold them back. The defense played well, but offensively, that was all Mahomes with the frustration. They just can't figure out a way to get it going. We see Travis Kelsey make amazing plays throughout the game, but there's not that second knockout punch that we've seen from them in the past. As a fan, my frustration is that the play from Kelsey was so cool. Yeah. It, it was like the play of the yeah. year. That is one of the plays of this era 
And when Travis Kelsey goes to the Hall of Fame, like you want that play yeah. in it. Now that play's completely marred. It, you can't show it again because you know how it ends. What an unbelievable play. I've never seen that before, unless it's like a Hail Mary at the end of the game. It was so perfect. Um, but, I mean, he lined up wrong. Yeah. Kadarius Tony is the, at the end of his third season. You're professional. You know how to line up. It was totally wrong. I, I think what's, what, what people are so mad about the officiating, understand is like the, the call happened right at the onset of the play. The official didn't know that Kelsey was going to go into God mode and make lateral. He might, have, he might have done the Homer Simpson back into the bushes. He had no idea. He's like, oh, my God, he's way off sides. I have to call that. It wasn't – listen, the Mahomes thing, Peter, you're spot on. Can't he's, he's sort of talking about the officiating. He's talking about a lot of stuff. That Mahomes reaction after it, that is emotional baggage. That is scar tissue. He's been babysitting for like three months now, and he's tired of this crap. He's tired of it. He's tired of Kadarius Tony. He's tired of all this stuff. I think he's a fit tired with the officiating too, but this was like, you've been watching your kids all weekend and your, and your wife comes through the door and you just lose it. And she's like, what the hell? I'm afraid. I'm at the end of my bleeping rope. He's in uncharted territory. Guys, he's going on the road in the playoffs this year. It's happening. All that MVP stuff, he's not winning the MVP, not even the conversation anymore. They're eight and five, they've never been here. He's trying his ass off. Finally, his, his one true weapon makes an amazing play to win the game for him, and the officials take it away, and he just blew a gasket. Do you feel like the reaction from the fans, everyone's kind of saying, like, no, shame on you, Mahomes. Like, is this the first time he's wearing the heel hat? I feel like this morning, a lot of people are taking shots at Mahomes. They're like, all right, you guys have had it pretty good, and you've been this wonderful story. Yeah. Like, quit no. crying for a If once. you want to be mad at someone, be mad at Kadarius Tony. This is not some rookie. This is a third-year pro who yeah. doesn't know how to line up. It's right. ridiculous. And it wasn't like he was lined up next to an official and the, the Terry McLaurin, like him asking, asking, and mm. then it got called. He's next to the line. He's seven feet from the ball. How does he not see that his foot is an entire foot length ahead of the ball? Mm. It was a shocking error because it's not like he's looking down the line. He's looking straight down at what then would become uh, the penalty that was called on him.